Hey gang, Zippo. I'm gonna show you guys my everyday carry that I make sure uh, of what I've got in my truck whenever I'm heading out and about. Uh, it's relatively organized, not super organized. Um, I always keep a plastic bag handy. The reason I keep trash in it and whatnot back here to keep everything floating around. You can see one piece of trash sitting back there. That's a little tripod seat uh, with my bad back. It's real lightweight. I can carry it. And then when my left leg is giving me fits, I can just pop the chair open and sit down. Uh, at, like my daughter's field events and uh, football games, basketball games, just different things. Um, I always keep uh, at least a gallon of gas. Usually this is uh, at two gallons. And then the diesel can is usually not in here. It's just in here because that's what I get my fuel oil uh, in for my heater out in my shop. And we've got the remains of an oil change, which is about a quart in that five quart bottle. And then windshield washer fluid. That's all that's in this corner. The toolbox holds all that stuff in place. That box right there, it says electrical on it, but uh, it's actually got toe straps, snatch straps, uh, bungee cords, that, that type of thing. If I have to secure something down on a trailer or in the truck, I've got everything I need inside that box for that purpose. Then inside this tote, and this is a little cheapy tote that I got at uh, Menards. I think I paid $5.99 for it, something like that. It's one of those interlocking, it's got the interlocking lids on it, and they're stackable. But um, uh, I just needed one. It didn't have to be watertight or anything. and It stays put because it's got a bit of weight in it. When I clean my wheels, got to have the white walls looking good. So that's what that's for. That's out there for that. This is a military poncho, which also doubles as a shelter, a tent. This can be set up with a couple of sticks, four sticks in the ground to hold it in place, and you've got yourself a cover to stay out of the elements, and it's really big. Um, and this is another poncho. Um, this poncho, with, with this one, the, between, I mean, with the two of them, they'll keep me dry and also keep me in shelter. Uh, another nice thing about uh, this one, it is waterproof. This one is not waterproof, but it does keep it does repel the water. There's a repelling agent on, on the uh, on the poncho itself. So I've got those two. Then what else we got here in the bag? Got some booster cables. Okay, a set of jumper cables. Got to have them. Either I'm breaking down or someone else is. So I've got to have that. Then emergency light and it's rechargeable and I've got the charger in the uh, inside the truck and what's nice about this uh, I'm not real jazzed about black and decker stuff I know DeWalt is the same thing but uh, this one you can plug an extension cord directly into it to charge it or you can plug into right there charge it in your vehicle off 12 volt battery so that's kind of handy to have that's nice to have around um, what else we got here here's another toe strap now this one's weak because that end of it has gotten chewed up so this one's a last resort then there's a new one in that box um, and also we've got receipts for different things that I don't want to throw away it's Lowe's there's got to be a reason it's in here Nope, I paid $5.48 for this lid at Lowe's, not Menards. There you go. <laughs> There's the receipt for it. Anyway, uh, this is a chamois to dry my truck with when I wash it. This is a squeegee to squeegee off the water. And these things are great. They don't scratch the paint and they get the water off real quick. It's called a California water blade. Uh, works really well. These are just a couple of spare belts that I've got in here. This is a complete set of belts for one of my tractors. If I happen to be trailering, going to do something at my uncle's or something like that, then I've got 
a spare deck belt, a spare mid PTO belt, and a spare drive belt. So I've got all those. You know, better safe than sorry, you know. It. Uh, got this Lynette ring along with the pin. And typically what I use this for is if somebody gets stuck in the snow, I say, yeah, I'm not climbing under there, you are. I send them under there, wrap this around their sway bar or something as stiff and uh, loop the toe strap through it. So it just makes it easier instead of having to tie the, uh, tie the uh, toe strap on to the vehicle. So that's that. This is obviously my wiring for from pinching it. Okay. That's my wiring. I've got a T underneath the track and then I'll just get under there and plug that in if I'm trailering. And there's the new toe strap that I thought was in there but it's not. It's in this basket. And it's got, just got a bungee holding it. One of them tarp bungees holding it together. Um, these dollar rags that you buy at the car wash they are awesome. I run them through the clothes washer and they clean up just fine and they stay together they're there's I mean I, I don't know if they're cloth or what they are but they're really really durable I know this one's been washed at least three times and I like to keep one around in case you know some kind of big mess comes along or something like that and I've got that to take care of it if I don't want to go through a whole roll of paper towels and I'm always looking down because my neck is bad and I can't look up um, so I'm always finding tools and whenever I find something I grab it and toss it in the truck. Just a chuck key for a drill. And his big mamma jamma makes pulling really easy. Uh, use this in either conjunction with or just the strap if it's an easy pull or just the chain and hook if it's an easy pull. Uh, this thing's awesome and it's a super heavy stainless chain. Uh, this is another uh, roadway find. Sorry about the noise. My uncle actually is the one who found it and uh, said, I don't have any use for that damn thing. Do you want it? So, not only yes, but hell yes. It makes my life a lot easier. And it's got the, a link lock on it. Uh, obviously, a tow truck dropped it. Um, and then a little bit of tech wax. So, that's it for in here. Put all this stuff away after a bit. Let me scoop this up so we can get to the toolbox. And I know I brought keys out for it, and I bet I set them down on the bumper. And now I've got the tailgate on the bumper. No. Okay. Help me, guys. Help me. What do I do with the keys? See, you try to stay organized. Here, I'll go ahead and toss this stuff back in here. Since I'm hunting the keys for the toolbox, and I keep the tools for the, uh, there are the keys. I keep the keys for the toolbox uh, hidden in the cab of the truck, and also hidden on the truck somewhere is a uh, door key just to get inside the cab. And I've also got a uh, um, removable steering wheel. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. So if I'm in a shady part of town, I can. I don't know who's going to steal this old S10, but uh, if I'm in a shady side of town, I can take the steering wheel with me and put a locking cap on it, and nobody will be able to uh, take the vehicle. Uh, they won't be able to steer it. The only way they can take it is if they towed it. So, I mean, they could probably take my... Uh, sorry about all this wobbling. Okay, there we go. Sorry. All right, toolbox. But anyway... I'll show you guys the steering wheel here in just a minute. Um, it, a hint for anybody who uh, doesn't have many tools, who wants a decent set of tools, go to your local pawn shop. This stack on toolbox, um, when I bought it, it, the top tray was full of junk. The bottom, when I took the tray out, the bottom had a 200 plus piece complete quarter inch three eighths half inch drive craftsman sockets all still in the plastic bags with the wrenches and the extensions and the ratchets and the whole nine yards sixty nine dollars go to your local pawn shops 
you can get an you know you're not always going to find a deal like that but you know I, I've been going for years and I always just keep my eyes open and look out for uh, decent deals I think I they had $69 on the tag for this and they keep a date pad or a, a date sticker on them I don't know if the sticker's still on this one or not nope they keep a date sticker on them and when you reach a certain date the price goes down by a certain percentage until they can finally get it sold so it was getting close to that time for it to get reduced and I opened up the toolbox and I showed them the contents of the toolbox and I said I'll tell you what I'll give you guys 49 bucks for it and they pulled it up in the computer and they said okay that's fine so I got all those craftsman sockets and wrenches and everything for 49 bucks plus Indiana 7% state sales tax. Um, a lot of the tools that are in here are my own and tools that have come with toolboxes that I've bought. You know that's come, that came with a toolbox that I bought. A 50 foot craftsman tape measure came with it. Just a lot of stuff. But I like to keep a good variety. Um, these are nice to have. These clinch wrenches by craftsman. Uh, they kind of eliminate the need for a full socket or for a full uh, uh, crescent wrench set or spanner wrench set. Um, wire cutters, uh, needle nose pliers, large set of side cuts with pliers like a lineman's pair of pliers, small pair of channel lock type pliers, screw, uh, screwdrivers of varying kinds, Torx bits, uh, deep well sockets here, shallow well here, all in uh, SAE. Um, it's got pins and air check, just just different different stuff that you might need on the road. And the spark plug sockets, got three different sizes of spark plug sockets in there. This in this bag, uh, Harbor Freight, and this thing is awesome. I love using this. I got to set the camera down for just a second, guys. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. See this? Air compressor, Harbor Freight, twenty nine bucks. Plugs into your into your cigarette lighter, and I gotta hurry up. I'm up twelve minutes and nineteen seconds. Uh, pair of gloves, keep my hands clean. Little ball peen hammer, a small small socket set. And this is a large socket set. Both are Craftsman's. This one came in a tool box that I bought, and it was new, still in the wrapper. This is a set of open end and box stand wrenches here. Um, this is actually for leveling your deck, getting your deck level front and back on a simplicity. So that's what that is. I'm gonna get around to the truck, the inside of the truck here, real quick. Climb it on the passenger side. Okay, what we've got that console houses my vehicle security system, Grant Cap. There's a steering wheel that pops off. Also in there is the charger for the. Um, for the floodlight, there's also spare batteries and spare light bulbs in here and spare fuses. Uh, the spare fuses and spare light bulbs are interior lights, exterior, whatever, what have you. Um, in here, I have a power inverter in the back of the truck. This is to plug into the cigarette lighter to put power to the power inverter in case I need to charge a laptop battery or something. There's spare batteries for flashlights there. A spare set of eye, uh, sunglasses, uh, lithium batteries for the flashlight that's in, that I keep carry that I carry in my pocket. Detachable face stereo that's also MP3 capable. Got both of my power cords. One's for iPod that's got the small end on it, and the other one's for any other normal generic. Something to think about when you've got a car charger, and or you're wanting a car charger, get one of these Rocket Fish mobile car chargers because if you change phones after a couple of years of having your contract all you've got to do is unscrew that and you're set to go just go to your local Best Buy and buy the correct tip for it 14 minutes 21 seconds tire pressure gauge lighters safety safety pin sunglass rag my handicap tag down there in the back a roll of paper towels and an umbrella and of course the jack and that's it except for a spare pen up there and my uh, garage door remote so there you have it that's pretty much everything that I keep in my vehicles everyday carry a Zippo later I'm out <laughs>